All right, everyone, welcome to another video today. And as you can see, I have my virtual machine open and it's Windows 10 Technical Preview. Now, I know this is the third video on it, but I'm making another video because today I have user here with me. Yay! Yes, you can tell users here. Yep. All right, so User we're going to do here. Yes. So he's going to take a look at Windows 10 today and we're going to see how he likes it. So uh, basically, I guess I'll just start the virtual machine and we're going to boot it up. Okay. And then you just let me know what you think. And you can go ahead and I guess I'll kind of drive you a little bit, but I'll guide, I should say I'll guide you a little bit, but for the most part you can just kind of do whatever you thing. want to start with, you know. Okay. Make it so I don't have to edit the video though. Okay. Yeah. It's, the thing is you have to think about that for a little I bit. Did. That's what scares me. Oh, no, that's normal. All right. All right. Black screen. What do you think so far? So far I'm not liking it. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. It shouldn't take too much longer. Yep. There we go. Here we go. All right. You've seen Windows 8, right? Yeah. Okay. So and I hate it. Why? Because it's all like it's not like Windows 7. And what, how is Windows 7? It's easier to navigate. Okay. Instead of like the print, you got to hit Control P when in Windows 7, all it is are right there in the corner on the left. Bam, done. You mean your print button? Yeah. This is it, eh? This is Windows 10 Technical Preview. Now, I know the microphone's in the way, but... Yeah. All is. right, so I can move over a little bit here if you need. All right. So we're just going to... Internet, obviously, is the Internet. Yep, there's the Internet. Your start button. Okay. And they got a start menu, finally. Thank God. I, I assume you... Well, you have Windows 7 on your Alienware, so that's a little yeah, bit kind of... Yeah, so it's the same bit. thing. It's just, yeah, I don't it's have little, this. Yeah. I don't know if I like that's this. That's kind of the Windows 8 style. I don't like that. Because I have... You, you don't like that at all? No. Well, hold on. Let me try. Let me show you something right here. Would you rather it look like this? It's gonna sign out quick. Okay. You can just make some comments while it's signing in again. I mean, it looks colorful. Yeah, it is colorful, there we go. isn't it? All right. So now click the Start menu. This is how Windows 8's like. I hate this. <laughs> I absolutely hate this. Okay. Now, now, I, okay. Now, why? What, don't, what don't you like about it? Because look at this. Like, you got your desktop here. I just don't like it. Because if you, like, look, you got your photos and whatnot here. That could just be right in here. Instead, I just don't like it. I absolutely. So you don't like the. Is I don't. It, like, because what in particular, I guess? Is it because just the length I, of. You have to move your mouse? That or too. It? Because I have also had issues with this. Because I have Windows 8 on the computer at my house. You know that. Oh, that's right. You do have one. And I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. Because it's like, oh, if you have a document that you pull up here, and it's like, oh, where is it? I want to try and find and print it. It's like, I don't know what program it's in. It's a pain. You go, ahead say it. go ahead and say no, it. No, you told me not to swear and all you that. You swore in the other videos. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it is a pain yeah. in the ass. All right. So let me set that back now. Cause this sucks. We, we don't like that, and I don't like it either. So I'm going to turn the start menu back on. Now, would you like using that on a tablet? Because have you've used my Surface before, haven't you? Yeah, like this is what this is. That's what it should be designed for. It's yeah, for a okay. tablet, not for this. Okay. So, yep. So Microsoft, what they said they were doing is they're trying to combine Windows 8 and like Windows 7 in a sense. So make it user the, the user friendliness and compatibility of Windows 7. They're trying to make that more in towards Windows 8, and they're making a whole new version of it in a sense. So they're gonna make it so you can use on tablets, on phones, on desktops, all that other stuff. But all devices. Me, but what was wrong with Windows 7? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, Windows 7, the thing is, platforms get old, and developers for software require newer platforms for more powerful software. So you're kind of bottlenecking. It's it's kind of like having... Well, that sucks, doesn't it? It's like trying to build a... It's like trying to build new cars off the chassis of the Ford Model T. Yeah, it works. You, you only have so many limitations oh. and so many things you can do. The hell is this? Oh, you found the uh, task view, I believe it's called. You can actually add multiple desktops. What? Yep. So you can have like different desktops going at the same time. So you just added one. So now if you click on one, they're both right now identical. So let's just say click on just one of them. Take one. Okay. Now open up like something. My computer, this PC, or it's actually called this PC. Now open up Internet Explorer. Now you can kind of like shrink it down and use the uh, maximize button or the mit. No, not that's VMware. <laughs> that's minimize. Okay. No, you gotta no. I did minimize it. No, I said maximize it or. Restore it. That's right. Restore down button in the middle one. That's restore. There you go. I was using the wrong terminology. All right. So now go to your other desktop. So go to task view again. Shit. Ah. There you go. 
So now click on your other desktop, and there you go. Now you can do whatever you want on this desktop. So you can have two different desktops going at once. That's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> okay, no, great. What, what, like, Why? You, you what is wrong with just one? Because you can still do two things at once on this one. Okay. Why do we need to have two? What if you wanted to like keep uh, music or something, and you ran out of room, you want to compare stuff, but yet you want to have your music open. I mean, you could minimize it. Okay, but what if you, you want to this. keep it up? Or if you really want to, let's say, when you got your well, you, you can media train, player. If you want to install like a browser that you like or something, go ahead. I mean, I'll just restore this down. Is your media it? player? Windows Media Player? Yeah. I can search for it. Wait, no, I saw the music. Oh, oh, oh. I saw the headphones. Damn it. There that's, we go. that's actually the Windows. That's the. Um, you can go ahead and click on it. I've actually never tried it. But that's the kind of touch version of Windows Music Player or Media Player. That's not really what you're looking for. Uh, but now they also changed a little bit too. You see the title bars back up there? I do. So now it's more like the interface. If you click the, I think you can click it, click the restore down button again, the middle one. You can now have it in a window view. So oh. it's still kind of like a desktop feel, but you get the modern apps. While you do that, and look at that, your music is playing there. Now if you want And look, it, you can still surf the internet. So you don't need this at all. This so can go can away. Go ahead and so we can close that out. So you don't, you don't like that at all, do you? No. Okay. Well, let me quick click on start here. Let me show you the other Windows Media Player. If you search Windows uh, Media Player right there, I'll just hit enter. Oh. You just did a search for Windows Media Player. <laughs> we just like did two commands at once. All right, hit recommended settings. Oh shit! And close this out. We don't want that. Okay. Let me go to start again. Windows Media Player. All right. Now recommended settings. Unless you want to customize your settings, you can do that too. We'll just but, do yeah, just do recommended. We don't want to bore everyone here. Okay, so is that, is that more what you're used to seeing typically with Windows yeah. Media Player? That's more like the Windows 7. Yeah. And that's what I use on mine too. And, I don't and again, use the other one. You can still minimize it, it'll still play your music. So you don't like the whole. And you can still surf the internet. Okay. Or do whatever. So now, all right, getting back to kind of Windows and how they are around Windows, kind of weird saying that, but anyways. You know how the arrows, remember the snapping feature? How you drag one in Windows 7? You ever use that where you drag one one to the left and one to the right? Kind you can of. snap it. Okay, so do that here once. So just drag one to the left or the right and snap it so it automatically fills up half the screen. You know, you, you know that feature? The left. No, no, yeah. no. Have you ever used like the snap feature? I don't think so. Okay, drag it all the way to the left side of the screen just till your mouse hits the left. No, not the top. Left. Down. There you go. Now let go. Okay, now it's asking, okay, Assuming you want to compare two results of something, you want to have your web browser open, let's say Microsoft Word. So it's saying, what do you want to do? Do you want to have Windows Media Player or Music? So you can click on one, and it'll automatically fill the right side of the screen. I don't get it. I don't you don't like, get it? No I, don't, no, I get it, but why? Because it's easier than trying to... Okay, so now let me do this. Let me reset you back up here. Are you like saying for like a document? Yeah, like it'd be more for a document. Here. So okay, well, close, that makes more sense. Let me close that out and actually go to... Word pad here. Okay, so let me put this back down here so it's a little bit more kind of cumbersome to use. Okay, so let's say that you wanted to write something down that you saw on the internet. Like you said, oh, I want that's a new song that I just heard on the radio or something, and I want to write it down so I don't forget about it. It's kind of weird that people actually do that. I know. Because going down the web, okay, whatever. We're not what? Gonna get, because going on the website. And figuring it out, well, going there where it says song we just played. That would work too. Oh. I'm trying to think of something off the top of my head, okay? And it's failing. Anyway, yeah, thank, but I see what you're saying. Thank you for just just completely demeaning my channel. There That's you go. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So now basically you could write something over here, and you can also look up information on the left-hand side of your screen or whatever, or vice versa. All right. So now let's say you want to pull something else up. Well, in the past, you'd have to resize the windows. Okay. So now... Kind of take this window, drag it, and then bring it to the right-hand corner of the screen. And so you see kind of a smaller box appear like that. Now it's saying what do you want to do. Do you want to, obviously you want to bring that one up there so you can actually do that for four sections of the screen. That's just ridiculous. You've never used that before? No. You, you don't think that's useful at all? <laughs> you are the worst user review that's, ever. <laughs> I mean, it's useful, but it's not. like. Uh, what do you do on your laptop, first of all? I should have asked that question probably in the beginning. Go on YouTube. That's it. Well, and what else? So wait, 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 wait. Go, wait. go on YouTube. Let me let me tell games. the techies what you bought here. Oh my God. You have I... a Alienware M14. <laughs> what is it? X. Is it is it X? Yeah. Okay, M14X. 
with a Core i7 processor, so like eight gigabytes of RAM, okay. and and a oh, five hundred gigabyte hard drive, and you go on YouTube with it. Do you? You go on YouTube with this? That's like buying a Ferrari to go around in the Walmart parking lot. That's fine. <laughs> Not only is it going to get scratched up and probably puked on by Walmart customers, this is this video has just gone like just just gone way sidetracked, hasn't it? You started it. All right. Okay, so that's kind of those features right there. Um, other oh. features that Microsoft... Yeah. Oh, sh- oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Well, that's interesting. No, I'm not talking about that. That's the VMware bar. That's not part of Windows 8. Oh. That's just what's able yeah, yeah. to run it. But okay. how it filled in the rest. Like, that was interesting. I'll have to see if I can figure that out again. Is that what the viewers are going to be doing? I do it. I've had a long day, Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, now it resized back down. Why That's because I'm doing it. No, no, no. It didn't do that for me ever. Like it was, it was, it was. It, here, do put it. No, 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 no. Not the whole screen. It's right side of the screen. There you go. Okay. Now try to resize it down again. I didn't do it this time. Interesting. See, like how it, nor how before it just kind of resized itself back down to what its state was. Try and go. No, not that button. Try to go to the top. Where you get the double-sided arrow and drag it down. I know that thing's kind of pissing me off too. Go to the right. There you go. Like this? Yeah. Oh, that didn't work either. What the hell? I don't know how you did that. I was trying to figure out how you how you got it to resize automatically. So, all right. So that's basically that's basically that yep. right there. Um, Windows 10 hasn't really changed much in the way of, I guess, visual aesthetics, except for the start menu and they added the task view and what now some that? features. That's Windows Store. You can download apps via that. I guess check it out. I don't care. Download apps, games, stuff like that, like yeah. okay. Flappy Bird, hmm. because I think Microsoft still has Flappy Bird if it's gonna work. I see that I kind of had this issue too once before with it. It didn't want to load. Had to like close it out. This is a technical. Oh, there we go. This is a technical preview, there so you go. can see there's things that aren't working. Oh, you can get okay. FIFA. Yeah, you can get like, some. Oh, soccer. you can get Airport City free. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna. You can download whatever you want. If it's gonna let us, I don't know if we can do it without a Microsoft account. But well, we're gonna try it. Install. Like I get this. This is kind of like. See, it's... yeah, exactly. They're trying to make it. So, oh, I gotta sign in. Yeah, I don't have an account on yeah. here. But um, yeah, basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it so the desktop computers are are gonna, are gonna more, work in more like with tablet kind of like more tablets. mobile. Yes, they're trying to combine the mobile and the desktop worlds together in one operating system. And that's kind of why you got, they, they got the name, Windows 10. Surprised uh, you didn't uh, say anything about Windows 9. There was no Windows 9. Yeah. You, you, you didn't question why they skipped it? Everyone's been like up in arms. Why did you skip Windows 9? It didn't really dawn on me until now because I, cause I know Windows 8 and I never really thought about it. Yeah. Well, there, there's actually a reason some people speculated why they they skipped it. It's they because they screwed up a, and they forgot how to number things. Uh, actually, kind of, yes. Really? Oh, well, wow, they have I Windo- just pulled that out of my ass. <laughs> they have Windows 95 and 98, right? Yep. Well, there was a... Windows 2000. Well, yeah, but there's a coding error that they made, basically. They were lazy, from what I read in the article, they were supposed to be like lazy coders. Now, I'm not a PC coder at all, so you know, I'm probably making a fool of myself right now. But what is Essentially, that? what they... Windows PowerShell? Yeah. It's like an advanced... Uh, um, command prompt, basically. If I understand. I've never used to... PowerShell. Is that, like, like, is that like for like your phone? The remote, remote desktop? No, that's basically for accessing computers remotely. It's kind of like Team Viewer, where you can access people's computers remotely if they need help or something like that. Oh, so you can spy on them. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you can spy on them. Well, that's pretty much, you know. yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? You can go to All Apps if you want. Where? All Apps, right down oh, there. Oh, All Apps. Yeah. And there's all the apps that are currently on the, oh. on the machine right now. So we got music. I don't know if we have any games on here. Uh, oh, I think it just brings you to the Windows Store yep. again. Those dirty dogs. All right, we can close that out. That's just we're not gonna be able to download anything. Wait, maybe no. It's no. You can just close that. Cause wait, guys, wait. All these games. Are, holy shit! They got a lot. Yeah. Wow. Welcome to the world of Windows. Eight. Oh. Ten. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can get Assassin's Creed Pirates. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. So essentially, this is reckless racing. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. See, we're gonna have to actually make a video, I think, about all these games. It's Sesame Street. I love how the all the things on here, and you're just like Sesame Street. 
Sesame Street. You can get Sesame Street. That's awesome. <laughs> You're going to go home and download Sesame Street on your, on your computer, aren't you now? Probably. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I Cut love... the Rope. That's a fun game. That is a fun game. I like that one. I have it on my tablet. I laugh how this is a Windows 10 review and you're just sitting here looking, looking at, at the or, games. Yeah. yeah, that's all you care about is just the games. All right. Anyway, back on track to your, your story about why they skipped Windows 9. Yes. Uh, it's essentially it was just a coding error that was done. And if they had Windows 9, it would essentially, some programs would read it as Windows 95 or Windows 98 because when they programmed it, they just said, look at the first letter of the, so Win 9, basically. Oh, and see. it assumed it's either 95 or 98. So then if it sees Windows 9, it's going to think, oh, I'm trying to run on either Windows 9 or 98 or Windows 95 or 98. See where the problem uh, is? Yeah. So you'd be trying to run modern apps. on. It, 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 why can't they just do Older point, apps, I should why, say. Why can't they just do point nine? Point nine? Yeah, Windows. Because that's been done already, technically, in a sense. You're going backwards. Like They wanted to call it Windows 1. Do you know Windows 1? 2000. No, no, Windows. Like there was a Windows 1.0, oh. so they couldn't call it Windows 1 because essentially it's already been done. So. But but hold on, but they're calling this Windows 10, and you just told me yeah that it reads the first number. But there were it, it'll say but, Win okay, and then. Okay. But there, I don't know anybody who has Windows 1 apps oh. out there because they really. I don't even think that anybody made apps for Windows 1. Well, we should go back in the future, back in the past, and do it. <laughs> yeah, because Windows One—that was like, that was the first Windows operating system ever released, officially, uh, okay. to my knowledge. So, another cool feature I'm going to show is you can actually people. You click on people. I don't know what this is. It's an app, but I don't have it signed in. So, oh, yeah. Okay. It's essentially the same as Windows Eight, but okay. Click on. Yep. That's a, that's uh, a search. Uh, thanks. I know. Yeah. I just kind of. I know the problem. Microphone's probably. Yeah. Not okay. So let's say you want to add an app over here because you can actually customize these. Like if you want to right click on that, you can actually either remove it or you can change the size. If you go to resize, you can actually change it to either large, medium, small. You can do whatever you want with it. Oh. So you can actually customize this whole area and the same thing with the start screen. You can customize the whole thing. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And it's live tiles too, so you can actually do that kind of stuff. And if you want to add an app, yeah, you I mean, basically just can drag an app over to that area. So really? you, you can either go to all apps and do it or you can just drag anyone over. So if you want to drag scan over, there you go and you can place it anywhere. So you can put it up there ah. and now you can resize any of those two that you want. So now let's say you want to add another app because you're not limited to just this window. You can actually fill multiple, like really? you can expand the whole start menu. So if you want to put music there, see now it just went off to that side. Yeah, you can put as much in there as you want essentially. You're going to fill the whole thing up, aren't you? No, not the whole thing. <laughs> but I want to see how long, how long you can make it. So you know, you why, now, now, why did it do that? Why didn't it? Yeah. Oh, i got to resize it, don't I? Medium. Oh, look at that. See, I'm figuring this out. You want them all even? Now, by the way, you can actually go up to the top here until you see a double-sided arrow. And then we got to oh. Yeah, just go back there. There you go. You almost, there we go. Okay, now click and drag up. And there you go. What? And now you can actually you can do the you can drag it down if you want more too and make it more horizontal. So you can actually oh, customize cool. the start menu on how much area it takes up on the screen. So that's really nice. I mean, essentially what they did with this version of Windows is they're trying to make it, like I said, more useful for desktop users. Yeah. And and get those people back and the enterprise users because those are the ones that they really lost with Windows 8 were enterprise users. Can you blame them when you have colorful interfaces that look like it's something out of Candy Crush or something yeah. like that? I mean. It just doesn't look like it'd be something for a business environment. So that's the reason they're trying to make it look like a home operating system, but uh -huh. yet kind of a, a business one at the same time. I mean, uh, I, I, mean, I, I like, like the I said, fact. Yeah, there's, there's not much that's changed kind of. But, but I do like how they made it more like Windows 7. It's got that feel to it again. Yeah, essentially you started it up and you clicked start and you were able to get where you wanted to go. Yeah. Unlike like I Windows can, like 8. I can navigate this. Windows 8 I takes me forever. Yeah, and, and now I get frustrated. Do you have eight point one on your PC at home, or do you have eight? I don't know. Do you have that little symbol down there, or not? I don't know because oh. I don't use it. Oh, okay. I use it when I absolutely have to. Basically, they didn't get the start icon or start button until eight point one. They finally brought that back. Oh. Because essentially, before that was gone, they oh. had no button whatsoever. It literally was just a taskbar. The Internet Explorer butted up against the side of your screen. Oh. That was that was your taskbar. So they, now here's a question. Yep. How do you change the background? Like, where's control panel? Control panel? Mm -hmm. You can either go and you can search for it, or you can go to PC settings. 
So if you want the regular control panel, why would you not just go like? Cause like on Windows Seven, it's right there when you click on this. I think you can actually pin it. So let me go. Hold on. Go back to the start menu for a second. Okay. Okay. Let me go control. Okay, there's your control panel. Right click on it once. Right click. Oh, no, sorry, I had to think about yeah. it. Now click pin to start. Okay, now go out of the start menu and go back in. And there it is. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's right. Hello. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Now, All okay, right. go back once. I want to see if you can pin it over on the actual menu portion. So now click and drag it over to there, like up top. Up, nope. up there. No, you can't. Okay. I would really like that. Okay, Microsoft, tip right here. Note, make it so you can actually pin the control panel over there where we can't right now. Uh, maybe there's a setting where you can do it. Maybe we're in the wrong spot, but nevertheless, that would be kind of nice. And I yeah. would like that too. So, all right, there's your classic control panel. You can go ahead and close the other one out if you want, and oh. you can kind of look at some of the settings. I mean, I kind of know what the settings are. About oh, right. okay. Yeah, the settings really, like I said, nothing has changed much under the hood right now. And this is a technical preview, so yeah. you're not going to have too much in the way of changes. Where is the display? You want the back wallpaper? Yeah. Close out and do the same thing Windows 7, right? Click on the desktop. That's the same as Windows 7. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. Do you have different themes? You're going to really... Why does everyone go for those high contrast themes Because they're cool. Ugh. I'll go with this one there. Is that better? That's much better. That just looks... It just pops right out at you. That'll wake you up in the morning. Who needs coffee when they got high contrast themes? Right? Yeah, exactly. Default themes. Yeah, those, are, those are the ones that come with Windows. Oh, flowers. Perfect. Really? Perfect. Flowers? Flowers. Oh, it's pink too. It is. <laughs> Color automatic, what's that? Too? That means it automatically tries to adjust the, the task, the title bar and the task bar down here to the color that the background is. And make it kind of blend better. That's what automatic is designed to do. You can change it manually if you want, or you can let it do it automatic. Huh. They introduced that in Windows 8. Ah. Yeah. You get different sound schemes that's kind of similar. Yeah. Feel it. Yep, they introduced that to, I think, in Windows 7, that was kind of the same, actually. You can actually have it do multiple wallpapers, and now it's just you have it. Yeah, we, do, we have this at work. Oh, that's it's, right. It's kind of fun to watch it. Yeah. Oh, there it goes now. So that every 10 seconds. Did you really set it at work for 10 seconds? No, no, not at work for oh. here. Uh, well, I know you did it here, but I was just saying that work, would be annoying at, at work, I think we, at, at work, I think we got it set for like half hour, 45 oh, okay. minutes. You got to change it up a little bit. Yeah, you do. It gets kind of boring after two orders, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. So let's see what else they got here. That is really bright. It is. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Um... <clears throat> Why don't you go to all apps and see what else we got? Oh, stick. Oh, you love the sticky notes, don't you? Oh, jeez. Here he goes, typing in sticky notes. That's it. You forgot. No, 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 no. You gotta. You forgot part. Ah, I did. My mistake. Yeah, that's your signature right there. It is. <clears throat> gotta make it fill the whole screen so I can see it. Okay. All right. Why don't you try to install a program? Let's see how that works. I've actually never like tried to install. I don't know. Use Firefox, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I do. So why don't you see if we can get Firefox on you? I'm just curious to see if it works. All right, I'll just type in yeah, Firefox. Type it. All right, and just download it like you normally would. Then I guess, because I assume you're thinking right now, oh, Internet Explorer, it's the greatest browser for downloading other browsers. I really don't care. I just oh. for some reason I like Firefox. You realize that Firefox in my test was the most insecure browser, and you can click whatever you want. It's not. We're not doing a malware test. So. I mean. <laughs> you also do realize that I don't care because it works for me. So, yeah. Until your computer decides to take a shit. And by the way, it's complete. Oh, it is. See, okay. we have Time Warner here. See, we don't have that AT&T shit. Go to hell, shit. Mark. <laughs> because someone thought that AT&T would have yes, been Yes, that was not me, though. I know it wasn't you, but it's still funny. I had no choice in that set. I, told, I tried to explain. I know. I tried to explain it. Nobody decided to listen, though. Nope. Yep. Downloading. Waiting. Oh, now it's installing. Okay. Now it would be interesting to see if this actually runs because now it's a technical. Oh, it. It's a technical preview. There's a lot of bugs in it. Some features aren't even in here right now. What is this like? Still in alpha? Kinda, yeah. Ah. Essentially, this is not going to be released for another year. 
Like the actual final so version. We're gonna test, so we're testing it now. Yeah. You yeah, have new apps you can open. Web pages. That can open web page. Wow. Yeah. I know Windows 8. It's pretty much foolproof, right? On Windows. I keep calling it Windows 8. Why do I keep calling it Windows 8? Probably because it looks like Windows 8, right? I know, yeah. Anyways, I don't know what you choose here. This is. I'm just going to reset it back to whatever. I did create a snapshot, I hope. <laughs> I finally said, yay! Yes. What? That's part of Windows 8. How do you want to keep this type? Even Firefox. though this is Windows 10. I'm going to kind of call it Windows 8 because it's a lot of Windows 8 I features. I but... <clears throat> that. All right, we got Firefox. And a big sticky note. And a big ass sticky note. We're going to get rid of that. It's kind of annoying. Delete note. <laughs> okay. All right, so Firefox worked. That's kind of interesting here. Yeah, kind of. It's good to see. Um, which websites do you go to? <laughs> the silence is wonderful. <laughs> I don't know. Like, just test something out here. Okay. And don't make me have to edit the video. Of oh, well, I, that was a stupid question. Which websites do you go to? YouTube. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go on Facebook. I mean, I built my supercomputer so I can go on YouTube. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Just type in anything? I guess. Yeah. I, now, I don't know if we have to install Flash Player. Is Flash Player included with... I, I don't yeah, know. We'll try it. We'll see. Because I think in Windows 8, Flash Player is included. So just let's we'll see if a video plays. It's interesting. Just User of... loves planes, in case you're wondering. Like, I do. So that's why he's looking at plane videos. He's using this opportunity to try and educate you on aviation. Yeah, kind of. This is what I used to fly about. Not this. I wish. Hi, I'm Kellen Hawk. Alright, bye. <laughs> yep, this is what I used to fly. Alright, so it looks like, I, you know, as much as I care about yeah, flying. I know. <laughs> I know you don't care. Alright, so it looks like Flash is working, and I don't know, maybe you techies are into aviation, but that's not you flying. Though, so. No, it's not. Don't, don't try to think that that's him flying, because it's way too good. I mean, he, he would definitely be in the trees if it was him flying. Probably. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> YOLO, right? Yep, YOLO. Yeah. So, all right, um, that's working. That's that's interesting to see. So now let's see if we can um, click on the start. I want to see how it reacted with the installation of Mozilla. Okay, didn't add any apps. Here, go to all apps and see if we can hit it to the start. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yep, there it is. I, was, I think I assumed we could because you can do it with Windows 8. So yeah. I was thinking probably could do it with Windows 10. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's actually pretty cool. What the heck? So why did we? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, is something dying? No. All right. Sorry, I think we can. Oh, is that over? Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I'm missing. Oh, um, before we end the video, while well, he's doing other stuff here, um, do not do not do. You know you're just gonna like. There goes about probably three subscribers right now for my channel because you just typed in that those words. Go with Ed Taylor Swift. Yes. Okay. I just love how you don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I didn't play it yet, so we're yeah. good. Okay. So essentially, before you play, because I know what's on your mind right now, and I know you want. Okay, cool. You're welcome. Yes. All right, so I guess you can. I'm gonna just t explain something. I just read about Windows 10, and you okay. can kind of do whatever you want here, and okay. do it. I don't care. If you break it, you break it. Actually, please do break it, because challenge can, accepted. Yes, if you can break Windows 10, then this re this this is, review will be over. Okay. So whatever you want to do, break the machine. Okay. Except don't try not to go to malware because I don't have my VPN online. I'm not gonna do that. I'm okay. gonna just open a bunch of tabs. Okay, you can do whatever you want to try and break it. All right, so essentially I read some information today about Windows 10 and you want to be careful what you type in and like your user accounts because Microsoft has stated, and if you read it in the user agreement, it is in there, that they are tracking all information on Windows 10 because it's a technical preview. They're actually key logging your keystrokes. So when you typed in GOAT Taylor Swift, yep. now that goes to Microsoft and they think, wow, this person really likes the GOAT from Taylor Swift or whatever. Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh. Now everyone's going to get that as their default suggested search because you type that in. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. 
But um, yeah, so just be careful, guys, when you're typing in like passwords, if you're using it kind of as your main operating system, if you install it on a real machine, you're actually trying to test it out. Just keep it, you know, kind of be heads up with that because it does also track your browsing history, you know, the kind of that stuff. So just wanted to mention that to you guys. What are you looking for? I don't know. I'm just trying to find things to break it with. You'll see. You can always use a file shredder. A what? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You told me I couldn't do anything like malware. That's not a ma that's not malware. Oh. I mean, how would you break it? I was just gonna. Actually, let's see how well it's protected. Go to um, try and delete the Windows folder, or just delete some stuff. Okay. We'll just see if they already got the protection enabled because I know. How do I go for that? It's control panel. Just go to this PC. Yep, oh. this PC, uh, C drive, and just select Windows. Um, okay, uh, yeah, it's not going to do it, so we'll just go cancel. I don't know if I deleted anything, actually. I don't think so. Let's just do select all here and see if we can delete it, because I don't think we will. Windows usually has everything in here pretty protected, and that's good, because uh, you don't want to delete any of this stuff. No. But, but yet we, we're going to. if we use a file shredder, we can actually delete it. Why would you want to do that, though? Uh, I don't know. Just for yeah. the sake of the video? Yeah, well, maybe we can do a video on destroying Windows. Okay. All right. Um, well, I guess I think that's pretty much it for this video then. So, um, yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much all the features of Windows yeah. Windows 10. Those who you want to keep watching, we're going to go... Don't miss out on the browser built for Windows. Oh, well, thank you, Microsoft, for pushing your browser. See? <laughs> See? Internet Explorer is better. Great. I don't care. <laughs> uh, no, thanks. Yeah, no thanks. So let's just go to um, file. Uh, what is it called? Um, I don't know. Uh, there's a file shredder. Yeah, I'm just gonna Google file shredder. There's a name. For, I think I actually use file shredder.org. <laughs> this is the one that I use. So okay. So those of you, like I said, who want to keep watching, um, this essentially is just uh, gonna be a shredding window. So putting an end to the video right now. Yep. For those who don't want to watch anymore. What do you think of Windows 10? I mean, I like it, but I don't. What what did, what, what did you like about it? Just because it still has that Windows 8 feel. So you like don't with, like the... Like, I just don't like the whole where it's like, oh, it's like, you want to get this here? Okay, click on this. Oh, you want to go back here? Oh, you got to drag this window thing down, then you got to click on this. I just don't like it. You just don't like that part no, of it? No, I don't like that part of it. What's wrong with Windows 7? It works perfect. Well... Like I said earlier, Windows 7, the problem with that is you're trying to build apps. Like I said, it's comparing it to a, let's say you take the Model T of the Ford, mm -hmm. and you're trying to build a Ford Fusion off of it. Yeah. You're going to be limited to what you can do. And that's the problem with Windows 7 now, is software vendors are having to write newer and newer programs, and it's requiring more and more resources and different types of resources. And by that, essentially, you're bottlenecking certain yeah. things, and you're, you're going to have problems. So, since you're right now, we're shredding the whole drive. We are. Yep. So this is what happens when you shred the Windows folder. For all so, of you that wonder. So now, what what's the happen? difference with the file shredder and like uninstalling a program through Control Panel? Well, a file shredder, what it does is it actually overwrites depending on which algorithm you use. Like right now, I'm using a, a one pass, which is basically taking each sector of the drive and overwriting it with zeros. Okay. Because you know, data is just ones and zeros, yeah, right? It's okay, that's how it's stored. Yep. Yes, it's just ones and zeros. And that's it. Essentially what this program is doing is it is just overwriting all those sectors with zeros. Because when you delete a file from your computer yep. and you go in the recycle bin and you even permanently delete it, it actually is still on your drive. Oh. It's still 100% recoverable. Okay. Yeah. So uh, most people don't know that. And most people think once it's in your recycle bin and once you hit empty recycle bin, it's gone for good. That's not true. Uh, um, and the higher, al the, the different types of algorithms are obviously more secure. Yeah. So let's say you use a DO, uh, I think it's a, uh, what is it? Um, Gutman, I think it's called. Okay. It's like a seven pass where it overwrites it with zeros. It goes again with ones, and yeah. then it goes one zero, and it just keeps going, and it does different configurations. Yeah. The more you do that, the more the less chance of you actually recovering that data because okay. the hard drives, like a classic hard drive, is all magnetic. Yep. So there's a magnetic signature that's left on there. The more you overwrite it, yep. the less and less that signature is there to pick up. So uh -huh. if I just by overwriting it by one pass pass right here. Yep. I could give this into an FBI, put this in an FBI lab, and they could recover this data easily. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I shouldn't say easily, but it's recoverable. Yeah. So, whole Windows folder here. Almost there. <laughs> so now, if you break this, you buy it, right? Yep. Okay. Well, yep. good thing it's for you and not me. Uh, I think we just broke it. Oh, it's still. Can we click on stuff? It's still trying to do something. Uh, yeah, you can. Well, you can try and do stuff. I don't care. I mean, but it's. I don't know what it's doing. So it, it's a virtual machine, dude. If it actually, we broke it pretty much. I mean, essentially, we did. We broke it. Okay. So it looks like things are still working pretty good. Yeah. I did this once with Windows 7 because I was bored, but. Yeah. All right. Oh, looks like we got some issues over here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like the program's not responding. It's loading. It's trying to. Let's see if you can. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh well, let's try and reload it here. Maybe if we reload it. Um. Where is our? Let's just do this. <laughs> File shredder. <clears throat> All right, let's see if this. Uh oh. Oh boy. Not found. That's not good. Windows. Oh dear. Well, these aren't supposed to be there, are they? No, Journal. they're not. What is that saying? This is to to Does that say toast data? Does that thing just say toast data? Go back down. Uh oh. Where is it? To toast data. Toast data. All right, huh. cool. I've actually never seen that. Probably butter okay. and cinnamon. Let's try and install this again. Oh, oh no. No, we can't. Oh, well, that didn't work. It actually looks like it survived a lot better than um, than uh, Windows 7 did yeah. in my shredding, because actually the Windows still have borders. So yeah. I guess let's reboot it. Maybe, you know, maybe Windows... Oh. Uh oh. Something went wrong. Oh, dear. What, Internet Explorer, is that working? No, no Internet Explorer. Can we get some... Can we go to the store? Nope. Nope. Store broken. Store is shut down for the uh, day. The st store, no the store is shut down permanently. How about paint? Can we do paint? Oh no, we lost paint too. Uh, how am I gonna uh -oh. draw things? Uh oh. Well, we lost. Can we do notes. sticky notes? No, we lost sticky notes. Oh, oh god. Sticky notes is alarms. Go alarms. Sound oh, alarm. Oh, sound alarms. Sound the alarm. Oh, we gotta sound the. Oh, oh we can't do that shit. either. Oh, <laughs> we screwed this up. Oh boy. Oh, Windows preview. No, I no, no icons there. We're losing stuff. If you said if you said nothing really happened, I think it's all hitting the fan. I think yeah, shit is hitting the fan. Let's see games. We gotta do some games. Shit. No games. Nope. All right. No All games right. for us. Okay, let's scan a document. I don't know. Scanning nope. documents. Come on, Mozilla. Oh, oh. Mozilla still works. That's the program's file, but... Yeah, wow, Mozilla's really redundant. File Explorer, yeah, it should still work. Okay. You know, I guess, what would you do in a situation like this? Call you. <laughs> well, you probably... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what I do in a situation like well, this. Well, first of all, I guess, I don't know what would what would you... Um, I'm going to edit that. All right, all so right. Um, sorry for the interruption there. All right, so um, let's go ahead and let's just try and, I guess, reboot, right? I mean, yeah. when in doubt, reboot. Okay, so... Or I call you. Yeah, all right. Because I reboot. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, that's some interesting font there. It is. That's not the font they used originally. It's not. Nope. Oh. That that pink is really like I love the bothering pink. my I love, eyes I, right now. Like I think I might have a seizure from that color. No, you won't. You're good. It's not that bad. It's more of a purple, anyways. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. That looks normal. It, yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh boy. Ooh. We're in, we're in infinite restart, aren't we? Yep. Pretty much. It's a frowny face. You like that? It's kind of... Oh, oh, oh yep. it's trying to do something. No, it's in an infinite reboot. Oh. See, essentially what it's doing is looking for certain drivers, mm -hmm. and it can't find them. Oh. So it's just going to keep doing this. So did we do it? We did. Yes. We successfully broke Windows 10. Yes, I broke something today. No, you didn't. You didn't know how. You just tried to open a bunch of tabs. No. Well, you it helped. worked. Yeah. So I would have got there eventually. You did. You would have finally figured it out. But all right, so that's basically um, how we're going to end this video. I know it kind of was, you know, not necessarily a kind of review Windows 10, but just kind of exploring it and, yeah. and getting a kind of an average user's perspective on it. So that's going to be it. I'm going to end this video. I think user yeah. over here yeah. is going to end it. So yeah. till next time, this is Techie here. Bye, Techies. Oh, well, you're so, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to, <laughs> I keep looking at the wrong thing. All, All right. right, see Boop. you guys. See you.